House of the Dragon has become the most watched premiere in HBO history. The first episode was watched by almost 10 million viewers per drop night. Outside the US, series has become even more popular than Game of Thrones itself and the final episode gave the audience a lot of emotions, throwing a bait for a dynamic continuation. Second season has already been officially announced, and now let's figure out what to expect from the next House of the Dragon episodes. Who are blood and cheese? Why is Harrenhal so important and what will happen to King Aegon next? I will tell you about this and much more in this red preview. Which House of the Dragon characters did you like the most and which side are you on, green or black? Write in the comments and we'll get started. The death of Lucerys Valerion will be the key to starting the civil war between the Targaryens. Neither the Greens nor the Blacks wanted to be the first to draw blood. However, Eamon and Vgar decided to take on this burden. Now each side must take a step towards a real war. If you suddenly didn't know, then the House of the Dragon events are fully described in the Fire and Blood book by George Martin. Unlike the Game of Thrones, writer finished the annals of the Targaryen's life, so HBO does not need to think of anything, because the whole story is already over. And how can we continue to discuss the series without spoilers, if all the details have long been known and are sold in bookstores? There will be a lot of spoilers here and if you want to watch the show without knowing anything, then turn off this video. Considering that HBO is unlikely to stop at a second season and will probably follow George Martin's advice by doing three more, I have gathered what important book events will definitely happen in the next episodes of the season 2. The first major event will be the capture of Harenal, which we were told about in the 10th episode of the first season. This is a large castle of historical significance, because it was there that the Great Council once took place, at which Jaehaerys declared Viserys as a king. The capture of the castle will be occupied by Daemon on Carax's dragon. Simon Strong, Castellan of Harenhal, almost instantly surrenders the castle to Daemon, after Carax's burns down one of the towers. Daemon will also take possession of the wealth of House Strong, as well as take valuable hostages, among which will be Simon himself and his grandchildren. This event, logically will have to devote the first or second episodes of the next season. The next important event in the plot will be an act of revenge for Lucerys. In the books, Daemon made a clear promise to Rhaenyra that he would take revenge on the Greens. Directly from Harenhal, he will turn for help to Miseria, the White Worm. In the series it's true that they didn't explain to us until the end whether she survived the fire set by Laris. One way or another, Daemon will hire two individuals named Blood and Cheese. They would break into the Tower of the Hand and capture Helena Targaryen and her children. As a result, the mercenaries will behead the eldest son of King Aegon II, named Jaehaerys. Blood and Cheese will then escape the Red Castle with a boy's head. After that, Queen Helena will lose her mind. The decapitation of little Jaehaerys will definitely be in the first three episodes of the second season. Further, in alliance with House Blackwood, Daemon will see several key points in the Riverlands, which will send a signal to the rest of the local lords who will swear allegiance to Rhaenyra. Also in the books, J. Carey's Valerion will return on a mission around this time. He will be able to make important political alliances with the Aaron and the Starks. At the same time, a riot is brewing in King's Landing. For Corley's plan to blockade the trade routes would really work, and every morning the mob traders would complain to King. Aegon will be furious at the slowness of the Hand Otto Hightower, who will be busy making alliances at the beginning of the war. The young king will not be very pleased that, as his hand nothing is being done about the trade blockade. Therefore he will remove his grandfather from the post of hand, choosing Kristen Cole instead. Most likely this event will become the boundary of the whole season, because further on I will talk about a significant number of victories from the Greens. The first step of the Greens will be revenge on all the lords who supported Rhaenyra. Laris will make a list of all the lords who were on Dragonstone at the coronation. Their possessions will be attacked by Greens. The king's army will take Duskendale, the large port town ruled by the Darklands. The town will be sacked, ships will be burned and the lord himself will be beheaded. Next, Ser Criston will send the troops to a place called Rook's Rest, where Greens will kill the peasants and burn the clearing. To help her allies, Rhaenyra will immediately send Princess Rhaenys on Malaise. 
However, Greens having predicted such a move, will begin to attack Rainies and her dragon with crossbowmen hidden in the bushes in advance. Malays will receive serious wounds and in a frenzy will begin to burn the soldiers, putting them to run. But soon King Aegon will appear in the sky above the field riding Sunfire, and his brother Emond on Fgar. Between three dragons, a real massacre will begin, as a result of which Rainies and Malays will die. And Dreamfire, Dragon of the King will lose the ability to fly. Aegon himself will receive horrible burns. For the rest of the year, he won't be able to get out of bed. Rule will temporarily pass to Emond, who will become Prince Regent. Meanwhile, the loss of Rainies will be a heavy blow for Blacks, and Corlys Valerion will become furious and blame Rhaenyra for everything. I am sure that the battle at the Rook's Rest will take place closer to the season finale, since a more violent ending cannot be imagined. Well, even in next season, Daemon and Rhaenyra decide to use free dragons without riders. In the series, Daemon raised this idea and began to implement it, but in the book, the initiator of the mounting of new dragons was J. Carys and Corlys Valerion. They announced there that they were looking for dragon riders from among the offspring with Valyrian blood. House of the Dragon is based on the Fire and Blood novel, which is arranged like a Targaryen chronicle and certainly some of the actions I've mentioned above may occur in a different order or with additions. In the original story, dialogues between characters are rarely mentioned and HBO can quite change entire storylines here, making them a little more bloated or simply different. However, I am more than sure that most of what I described will still be included in the second season, which you now definitely know a little more about. Thank you for watching.